I'm a dad from Grenada. I was born in Guyana. I went to high school in Madrid. I played soccer as a soccer player. And then I lived in Italy, played soccer in Italy. And then um, a lot of things happened where I had to leave Italy and then come to California and stay with my father. My father was a politician in uh, Grenada. And then Grenada was invaded by communism. And so my father had to come here and I came and lived with my father. And while I was here, I studied psychotherapy. I went to San Diego State University. I studied psychology. And then I met um, this extraordinary human being um, who lived in California. His name is Carl Rogers. And Carl Rogers is the father of humanistic psychotherapy. So you probably heard of, well, he's the, he's the father of humanistic therapy, psychotherapy. So you're probably familiar with Sigmund Freud and psychoanalysis. Uh, you're probably familiar with B.F. Skinner and Carl Jung. Um, Rollo May, you probably know some of those names. And one of those names among these giants is Carl Rogers. And what made Carl Rogers' um, foundation of psychotherapy so interesting is that he felt like the, 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 the therapist um, worked with the patient, that the patient wasn't coming to get fixed by the psychotherapist, that the psychotherapist actually took a journey with the patient. So unlike psychoanalysis in Freud, where the patient comes and the patient is coming to get fixed, Carl Rogers said, absolutely not. Um, the patient and the therapist are in this journey together. So he called that word person-centered psychotherapy. So a lot of my training is really looking at how do you hold the value of the person who comes to you and takes a journey with, and you take a journey with them. So a lot of my work is very much centered in the human, the human aspect of the relationship between me and whoever I work with. So if I work with a corporate, so then after studying psychotherapy, I went to Harvard University and I spent one year there studying conflict resolution. And so psychotherapy, just very quickly, psychotherapy or therapy is history to present. I'm doing something that I don't want to do now. And so I go into therapy. And so the therapist looks at what happened in my past that's making me do what I'm doing now. Conflict resolution, mediation, is looking at where you are now and where you want to go. So by just sheer luck and sheer serendipity, I have this bandwidth of psychotherapy, which is history to present. And then I'm trained in conflict resolution, which is present to future. <laughs> so, so, so my work, I don't do psychotherapy. But the work has a very psychotherapeutic feeling to it. People feel good when I work with them. So I'm not doing psychoanalysis or psychotherapy, but there's something about um, in both psychotherapy and in mediation, what's required is listening. 